All right, we're here with Jeremy Schlachter of Gallus Cycles. They're out of Fort Worth, Texas, and we have a beautiful, it's like an olive-colored track bike. What color is this? What do you call it? Um, I, I call it avocado green. Avocado green, nice. Tell us a little bit more about this bike. Well, uh, the idea for this bike was just having a really clean, simple track bike. Um, I'm into really bold colors, so that's where the color scheme came from. And I'm, I'm into really traditional stuff as far as lugs and the way yep. panels work. So as far as aesthetics go, I wanted you know, panels, but I, I wanted to keep it clean. So that's why I went with kind of the, the fake Strips. panels on there. Yep. Um, and then because it's a track bike and with track bikes, you can kind of have really almost extreme geometry yep. uh, because it's not so much about comfort, it's more about speed and performance. Uh, so the whole idea was to keep the clearances really small on the bike. So I've got a really uh, short fork where there's like very minimal clearance yep. on the on the front tire. I probably couldn't fit any bigger tires on the front. Is that a 23? Uh, those are 23s. Yep. And then on the rear, um, you know, the tire's a little bit out just now, but it's pretty tight on yep. the C2. And then uh, the brake bridge is slammed down on the tire as well. And I've done a little scallop on in there to, to give me the clearance I needed. Oh yeah, nice. And um, so it's just, you know, it was a simple track bike that I wanted to keep kind of aggressive and bold, uh, both like really classic lines to it. Uh, so the geometry, the normal geometry is about 74 degree uh, head and seat tube angles. And then, um, you know, they're standard Henry James lugs I used. Okay. And but I do a lot of work thinning the lugs out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I probably spend more time thinning the lugs out than any other part of the building process. Uh, I do all that by hand with just hand files, and uh, you know, reduce the thickness of the lug almost in half of what it was. Yep. And uh, I think that gives it, you know. Aesthetically, it gives a really sleek, kind of modern look, and then from a practical standpoint, it kind of helps reduce the stress mm -hmm. on the joint. Now, so, what kind of tubing do you use for this? Um, for this bike, this is it's really just simple Dedekai Kamali tubing. Um, I, d I didn't want to spring for too fancy tubing, and the customer didn't want to either because. Uh, with Cremali tubing, uh, when you're buying the custom tube sets, you're getting, even the regular Cremali, you're still getting a lot better tube set than you would if you bought a, you know, a, a production Cremali bike. Right. So you're getting right. a good quality bike. And uh, also for the track, the main differences with the tubing is uh, you know the thickness of the tubing. And if you have a little bit thicker tubing, it's gonna be a little stiffer ride anyway. And that's what you want for a track bike. You want a pretty stiff bike with not much flex in it. Right. So it, it kind of made sense to use like, uh, you know, just standard Kamali tubing. Yep. You know, so. Is there a story behind the logo here? I see we got a lightning bolt and, yeah. a, and a human bone. Well, um, there's yeah, there's a bit of a story behind both the name and the logo. Um, I I used to be a bike messenger in Scotland, and. I was going to school there and then I was a messenger for four years, both during school and then after school. And uh, so the name comes from like a Glaswegian slang word that all the messengers would use. And uh, it pretty much, it means like badass. And, uh, <laughs> so, and how do you say it with a Scottish accent? Uh, it's, I've lost my accent, uh, okay. so I can't, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. But uh, so, you know, it's just a word that we used all the time. And then, you know, that's that's where I got the whole idea to start building bikes from when I was living over there. And I moved back to the States so I could start learning how to do it. And uh, so the, both the name and the logo kind of pays homage to that. And the, the idea behind the logo uh, was, you know, basically being like fast and kind of tough, yeah. you know, which I don't know if I am anymore, but <laughs> at least when I You're started. You're building bikes now. Yeah, yeah, I'm building bikes now, so I've gone a little soft, but. Uh, that's kind of where the idea for that came from. Great. So. Well, there you have it. Jeremy Schlachter of Gallus. <laughs> that might be somewhat close to it. Cycles, they're out of Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Thank you.